Hi everybody, it's, uh, what time is it? It's six in the morning now, uh, almost. Uh, I meant to get up around 4.45, almost five o'clock, to drive an hour to a certain place for sunrise, so I'm up a little late. Uh, the sun's already up a little bit. But I'm still gonna go anyway, check it out. Uh, keep it a surprise, so see you there. Out of work and down All inside it's so frustrating Good morning, John here. I'm somewhere between Barstow and Victorville. Uh, I rented a lens for a wedding I'm doing tomorrow and I thought I'd come out and do some landscape photography. And the plan was to uh, get up around 4 this morning or 4.30, be up here in time uh, to watch the sunrise but I decided to sleep in by uh, oversleeping. And as I was waking up, it was about 5.30 and the sun was already starting to hit the horizon. So I thought, uh oh, I should hurry. Anyway, by the time I got here, it's, the sun's already up, but that's okay. It's pretty out here. It's also a little cold, but sorry for you people with real winters. It's in the forties here and it's still pretty warm. Breaking the law, breaking the Breaking the law, 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 so much fun. Now the uh, lens I rented, it's a Canon 70-200 f4, version 2. And again, I was challenged by another photographer by watching their videos. They use the 70 to 200, so I thought, since I have it for a wedding I'm doing tomorrow, I'll give it a shot for today. And with this mountain, it, I'll, I'll call it a stovetop. Uh, I think in Arizona or New Mexico, somewhere over there, there's Monument Valley. So I thought it, this place has some characteristics. And with the sunrise, I just thought it gives it this contoured light that uh, looks pretty cool. Now the challenge with a uh, long lens like this, so I want to show some foreground, I, I think. And I was over in another spot, but there's a lot of trash. You think being sort of out in the middle of nowhere next to the road, there wouldn't be so much trash, but there was. There's something about morning light where you get this side lighting and it just looks great. It gives it a lot of definition. And it didn't dawn on me for a long time until I listened to a photographer named Lindsay Adario. She's a photojournalist. And she would do a lot of most of her photos early in the morning. Uh, at first I thought, well, that just sounds weird. But as I paid attention, it, you know, you see the light. It's like, oh, it does look great in the morning. Duh. And I remember years before going on an Ansel Adams photo walk in Yosemite where you meet up with a group and they take you out to show you sites around Yosemite that Ansel Adams may have photographed or to talk about Ansel Adams. And the, the group met at probably 11 in the, in the morning and walked around for a couple hours and someone during the group in the group during the time, stopped uh, the teacher to ask, uh, with this lighting, oh, what time would you be out here doing this? And the teacher just flat out said he wouldn't even be out there during that time. And I thought it was strange to be taking people out during a time when the teacher wouldn't go. So, but fast forwarding, fast forwarding and listening to other photographers like Lindsay Adario, it clicked like, oh yes, early in the morning, there's some nice definition. Even at sunset, you get the side lighting where things can get more spot, like a spotlight or there's shadows and dark lights. So being here at this time, 
it's a little hazy and I wish I had brought a polarizer, but I didn't, but that's okay. So the way the mountain is here is shaped, I like just how it like peaks and touches the clouds and let's give that a shot. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Since I have a zoom lens, it's convenient. I don't have to change lenses to change focal lengths. The reason I use prime lenses for the most part is for a while, I just didn't like zooms, the quality of the, the picture. Like, it's, I know it's convenient they do different focal lengths, but I thought I want something that's good at 200 millimeters, not just something that can do 200 millimeters. I don't want a jack of all trades. I want a master of, you know, a good 50 millimeter, a good 200 millimeter. There's a clarity that I noticed in nitpicking pixels when I'd zoom in and Photoshop and all that, I would notice there was a clarity difference on a, on a prime lens, even like a cheap $100, 50 millimeter lens. I thought it did way better than a $1,000, $1,500, you know, 24 to 70 lens. <laughs> So I used to prime lenses, there's only one ring on it, that's just for focusing. This one's got two to zoom and to focus on. Throws me off. Zoom lenses. So you get all these numbers here with the uh, focal lengths. So this one goes 70 to 200. And I, I, I heard somewhere that the numbers mean it, the lens is calibrated for those focal lengths, meaning it, optics work better at those lengths. So if you go like in between, it might be slightly, slightly less optically tuned or performs better at these numbers. So I'll trust the uh, interwebs. Uh, well, the sun's getting high and uh, I think I might call it for this spot drive back home and see if maybe there's something along the way. I saw a lot of cool things along the, along the way where the sun wasn't yet up. So maybe by the time we get there, it'll be worth the wait. Found a cool spot here along the highway. The way I plan for uh, landscape photography is I look on Google Maps just for a general area like, oh, that's got a cool mountain or a building or something. And when I get there, it's okay, I'm gonna photograph what I came to photograph, or at least what brought me here. But then I, I like to just look around and kind of go with it. Sometimes what you came to photograph isn't all that great. It's like, okay, it's not happening or it's just whatever. But other times it's, you see something next to it or if you just turn the other way or, or if you just wait for better lighting or, or sometimes nothing at all. But um, in this case, it just, I'm on the way home and there's, I just saw this little rock pile or whatever that is. I thought it looked kind of cool, so I thought I'd stop and photograph it. So I found another spot along the road back. When I came by earlier, it was all in shade, so it didn't look all Cool for photography, but now it's starting to get highlights and whatever, and it looks pretty cool. So I thought I'd check it out real quick. And again, I am along the highway, so there are cars. Look both ways. As Batman might say, be mindful of your surroundings. With all the trash out here, I found my uh, long lost shoe. A half a beer bottle, a bunch of other stuff. 
somewhere I see an Indian crying in all this trash. It's pretty gross. With landscape photography, uh, typically I shoot with a small aperture so to get it, more things in focus and not worry too much about being in focus. But, uh, so, but sometimes I like to shoot with a large aperture. So right now I'm at f4. This is the max that this lens opens up to. And the reason I do that is sometimes it creates a little more de uh, texture or feeling of depth to where there's space between things. And it, I don't know, to me, it just feels a little more three-dimensional. Sometimes when everything is in focus, it can feel a little flat. So I, I like to mix it up. So I'm liking how this looks. Sometimes I feel like I'm Nacho Libre out in the wilderness, but really I'm next to the road. Hola, Nacho. So sometimes I run out of things to say, especially after a while. So I like to ask questions and maybe since you're, if you're a photographer watching this, to ask what gets, what got you into photography? Uh, what, get, what gets you motivated to uh, do anything, I guess, but when it comes to photography, we'll get, we'll get you up in the morning. I'm shooting right into the sun. I don't know how good of an idea that is, but I'll give it a shot. It's not really a good idea at all. So this is where I would do HDR. I'm shooting right into the sun. And it's not usually a good idea because everything becomes backlit. And if it's too bright, everything becomes a silhouette. And I wanna see some detail. So this is where I do HDR. So I shoot a photo really dark to get the sky nice and, you know, nice. And then I'll shoot something in between. And then something a little more exposed for the details of the rocks. And then a Lightroom. Boom. It's all merged together. So what gets me up in the morning with, with uh, photography, one, I just love to explore and see new things, so that's part of it. But two, it's, one, I, you know, I'd like to say it's out being in nature and that's part of it. It gets me out of the norm of just, you know, a routine. I'm a freelance photographer, so my routine's a little loosey-goosey. But uh, coming out to see something I haven't seen before or something I've seen a million times, but it's taking the time to notice things. And, and in other areas of life, it helps me slow down to uh, try to listen to people that maybe are different from me. Uh, so it kind of adds a spice to life, you know? to teach me to slow down, listen, or observe. I've always just liked to people watch. So, you know, it all works together. I think it's not just photography, it's being out and seeing what's going on for the day. Uh, you know, that, that gets me up. And if, there's other th things I'm passionate about like civil rights and, and uh, telling stories basically where you meet certain people and so you get the opportunity to share life with people. And with photography, it's just sort of a, I've been blessed with many open doors just through photography and it's, not just about photography, it's been about all kinds of things and getting to meet all kinds of people, uh, see cool places, even just along the highway, which I usually drive along just to go to Las Vegas, and I miss most of it. So it's that perspective again of just 
um, getting to see something different. Or there's some mornings where I just sleep in and enjoy that. So in this shot, I'm photographing a rock I've already photographed from down near the car, side of the road, up a little mound, but I'm trying it from a slightly different angle. More, uh, I'm gonna do a vertical. And it's just something different, you know? When I get back home and review, I'll pick out one I like, and that becomes sort of the hallmark of this trip or this day, the one I'll share on Instagram. I think I'm gonna wrap for today, head on home. Uh, I've had a lot of fun out here in the desert. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Be sure to subscribe. This is John Ducas Photography, signing out. Peace. After a photo shoot, I like to uh, support a local business and find a local diner. So this is Emma Jean's Burger off Route 66. Let's check it out.